Good morning, boys and girls, teachers, and special guests. Welcome to William Lehman's Elementary Peace Day. My name is Mrs. Garcia, and I'm the counselor here at the school. This year's Peace Day is very special because we are gathered here together to celebrate 25 years of peace. We also have our peace team, which is brighten each day with peace, love, and kindness. So boys and girls, teachers and special guests, I would, again, I would like to welcome you to this, today's program. And we'll begin with our safety patrols, which we'll be doing our presentation of colors and also our Pledge of Allegiance. So you can please stand up and enjoy. to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silent meditation. Thank you, you may be seated. And now for our principal at William Newman Elementary, Ms. Baldessari. Hello everyone, I'm Ms. Baldessari, the very proud principal of William Lehman Elementary School. Today we continue a beautiful tradition, the celebration of Peace Day. Let today serve as a reminder of how powerful each and every one of you is. You have the power within you to use your voice to speak kindness, your ears to listen and be compassionate, your hands for charity, your mind to share knowledge, and your heart to spread kindness and love. Let today serve as a reminder that peace, love, and kindness begin with you. Good morning. I am Mr. Margo, your assistant principal, and I'm very happy to be celebrating the 25th anniversary of Peace Day with you today. I am so proud to see how the tradition of spreading peace has continued here at William Lehman Elementary. 
And as we continue to light the candle of peace, I encourage you to become a peacemaker, whether it is at home with your family, in school, or in the community. Be sure to encourage others to speak up, to stand up for what they believe, and to spread peace. For it is through standing up for our beliefs and through cooperation and tolerance that peacemakers will bring peace to the world. Thank you and enjoy this beautiful day. And good morning, boys and girls, teachers and special guests. Welcome again to Peace Day. Uh, this year's theme is brighten each day with peace, love, and kindness. I started thinking about how could I brighten or how can we brighten each day? And I started making a list that I'd like to share with you. One way that we can brighten each day with peace, love, and kindness is by holding the door for someone. We can also give a compliment to someone, say, I like your backpack. We can also write a kind note to someone in our family, like saying, I love you, and write the note and leave the note to someone. That will bring someone a, a smile. We can also invite someone to play in recess, especially if you see someone that may be sitting by themselves. Include them, hey, why don't you come play with us? But that will make that person very happy. Another thing that we can do to brighten each day is by to donate to our charity, to a local charity, like what we're doing now in our school, where we're collecting donations to help families in need. Another way we can brighten each day is if you see someone sad, boys and girls, could be at lunch, if you see someone sad, talk to them, make a friend. Imagine how kind that Kind, how much kindness that would be and how you would brighten that person's life by just making a friend, conversing with that person. Another way we can brighten each day is by doing extra chores at home. Maybe you can help your mom or your dad clean up after your room, clean up your room, clean up after yourself, maybe help dry the dishes. Another way, and this is actually one of the most important ways, is to follow the golden rule. The golden rule means treat others the way you want to be treated. It doesn't matter if you're 10 years old or if you're 80. Follow the golden rule is one way that we can go ahead and show respect and we can bring each day, again, with peace, love, and kindness. Top off with our theme, we also have something very special I want to introduce you is again, our 25th year. It's been 25 years that we have been celebrating peace here. Here we'll name it. And I have something here that is a symbol, and it is our International Peace Bowl. And this Peace Bowl has a special message. And I'm gonna read it to you. It says, may peace prevail on earth. May peace prevail on earth. And this message is written in eight different languages. So if you come by the courtyard and you walk around the Peace Bowl, you will see this message in eight different languages. Well, this peace poem was planted here in our courtyard exactly 25 years ago. It was on February 14, 1997. That's 25 years ago, and it was actually on Valentine's Day. And it all started with our first counselor, Mr. Ron Leventhal. He was the one that started Peace Day, and he was the one that unveiled it with all the boys and girls and children and the guests at that, moment, at that time, back 25 years ago. So boys and girls, I have a special treat. It is, it is a pleasure to introduce you to our next speaker, and that is Mr. Ron Leventhal. He will be explaining to you how is it like on that first peace day. Thank you. Hello, William Layman Lasers. I'm Mr. Ron Leventhal. It is such a pleasure for me to speak to you today. The 25th anniversary of Peace Day. 25 years have passed so quickly, but you, your teachers, principals, and Mrs. Garcia continue to promote the message of a peaceful world. On the first Peace Day, a beautiful rainbow appeared overlooking the courtyard. It was a sign for me that the message of peace was to continue to spread from here to everywhere. Guests who attended came from 
many different backgrounds. Mr. William uh, Lehman was a school board member and our school is named after him. Um, and also Jimmy Tiger came. He was the chief of the Miccosukee Indians. And then Gino uh, O'Laughlin came. She was a Catholic nun and the dean of the School of Education at Barry University. Romero Brito, he was a talented and local artist born in Venezuela. The theme of the day was diversity. No matter what differences there are, we can all still uh, get along and live peacefully. The highlight of the day was the unveiling of the International Peace Bowl. It's still in our courtyard today. All the messages on the poll translate to, let peace prevail on earth. There are eight languages and they all translate to let peace prevail on earth. You probably noticed that I'm wearing a t-shirt. Uh, it was designed by a former uh, student at William Lehman Elementary. I love it and kept it all these years. On this shirt is a rainbow like the one we saw way back then, 25 years ago. The message to me is priceless. The shirt says, let peace lead the way. Let it begin with me. That means you and everyone, me. Thank you and continue promoting peace. Good morning, my name is Elizabeth Cooper and I'm the I would like to share with you my peace poem. Love is like a flower. When you give it affection, it grows. Kindness is like a mirror. If you reflect something on it, it bounces back at you. Peace is an amazing, peaceful, and calming thing. Money can buy lots of things, but certainly not love, peace, and kindness. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Luana Ognello, and I would like to share my Peace Day poem with you. In the dark, there is light. Use your words and do not fight. No matter the issue, never look down. There is always a way to never frown. Make new friends and share some love. Be as peaceful as a flying dove. Watch the flowers bloom with the kindness that will flow through your heart soon. Once the kindness reaches the heart, you will begin a new start. You watch as the days pass with a heart made out of glass. A heart as delicate can be your chance to being kind. May your heart adjust and rewind into the heart of peace, love, and kind. Thank you and have a powerful, peaceful day. Good morning. My name is Chelsea Cainas, and I would like to share my Peace Day poem with all of you today. Write in each day with love and kindness. Each day, be kind and have the mind to empower and shower upon others the reins of kindness. Spark the light and show your might in order to prove that you can brighten each day with love and kindness. Thank you and have a powerful, peaceful day. Good morning, my name is Blake Mancini and I would like to share my message of peace with all of you. Peace and love. Peace is like gold, it's valuable. Every day people spread kindness by holding the door for someone and saying please and thank you. Those are just some of the examples. Little acts of kindness are like bags of sugar used in coffee to sweeten every object around them. What I can do to spread peace is by helping someone carry their groceries or helping someone get up when they fall or return something to someone when they lose it. It is crucial for us as people to spread peace, love, and kindness. Thank you and have a powerful, peaceful day. Good morning, everyone. My name is Amaya Richardson, and I would like to share my message of peace, love, and kindness. How can you brighten each day with peace, love, and kindness? You can brighten each day with all types of peace by taking care of yourself and the planet by treating others with respect and appreciation and helping others in need. How can you brighten each day with love? 
You can make sure to say I love you to your loved ones. You can also give a random hug. You can spend a little extra time on the things you love. How can you brighten each day with kindness? You can give a compliment, do acts of service, and being friendly and welcoming. One act of peace, love, and or kindness can change one's perspective and maybe even their lives. Be kind. Thank you for listening and have a powerful, peaceful day. Good morning, boys, girls, teachers, and guests. My name is Peaceful Patty. I am so excited and thankful to be here today with all of you to celebrate Peace Day. Peace Day is my favorite time of the year. Do you know what it means to be a powerful, peaceful person? A powerful, peaceful person has strength to control his or her anger. A powerful, peaceful person resolves conflicts peacefully. A powerful, peaceful person is assertive and not aggressive. A powerful, peaceful person does not use bad language. A powerful, peaceful person is a peacemaker and helps to prevent violence towards others. Finally, a powerful, peaceful person is a proud role model. As Peaceful Patty, I'm so proud to say these things. I hope you will all remember to be a powerful, peaceful person each and every day. Please join us as we finish today's celebration singing our special song called Peaceful, Powerful People.